talking about how to customize your lace front wigs hairline to make it look a bit more natural. First, you're going to need some tools. You'll need one of these. This is an eyebrow shaper razor. You can pick these up in packs of four or five, sometimes three at your grocery store, your pharmacy, your Walmart, pretty much anywhere, and they're very cheap. Next, you'll want to have a spritz bottle with water in it. Next, you're going to need a tracing pencil. This is a John Renault tracing pencil in white. It's kind of a crayon-like consistency. You can use practically any type of crayon eyeliner that you want to. Having it in the white color definitely helps you see it a bit better. You'll need a wide tooth comb, your wig, a wig stand, a blockhead. Let's go ahead and get started. I will bring this a little bit closer to you. First, you're going to want to place your wig on your blockhead. Next, you'll take T pins such as this and pin them to the ear tabs on each side. If you have a hand tied cap, it's very important that you don't put the T pin in the hand tied area because that's very delicate and fragile. So you'll put a T pin on this side, a T pin on this side, which I already have pinned, and you'll have another one at the nape in the back. Once you have your wig secured to the blockhead, You'll take clips and pull all of the hair back away from the lace. You want to make sure that you don't get any pieces of hair on the lace because you can accidentally cut them. A great way to help keep that hair back is to spritz it lightly with water, making sure that you get a little bit of water on the knots. And secure the hair back around the perimeter where your lace is. You'll notice that I have a white piece of paper here. I did this because my block head is dark and so is my wig. If I didn't have the paper underneath it, it would be really hard to see the knots. So this will actually help you see the knots a bit more clear. All right, so now your wig is secured with T-pins on your blockhead, you've got the hair pulled back and spritzed down. You'll get out your razor and find the area that you would like to trim back. You'll take your razor at a 45 degree angle up against the knot and gently with a circular motion, get that knot at the root. You might still see the knot and the hair has come loose and the knot is still there. That's okay. We can remove the wig from the blockhead and pull the rest of the knot out from underneath. I usually will take about two or three knots at a time, but be very, very careful when doing this because if you push too hard or you have the angle down instead of almost level with the knot, you can damage your lace. Although you want to be careful, if you get an extra couple of hairs, don't worry about it. Nobody's hairline is perfect, especially if you've got bio hair. This is no different. So if you go back a little too far, it's okay. You just want to make sure that the hairline is a bit uneven. Personally, I do not 
map out exactly what I want. I just kind of eyeball it. And when I think I'm done, I'll take it off of the blockhead and I'll try it on and look at the hairline after I've cleaned it up a bit. If it still needs a few more places after you've tried it on and take a look at it, then you can get out your tracing pencil and mark the areas that you want to touch up. Once you're finished, go ahead and remove those T-pins. And turn it inside out. And I gently use my thumbnail like this and gently run it across the bottom to pull the rest of the knots out that I've already cut. And there we have it, everybody, a more natural looking hairline. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, and have a fantastic day.